This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, their physical computing unit, and I am on the lesson arrays and color LEDs. Turning it off. When you start this app, your lights are off. But as soon as you change the pattern, there's no way to turn lights back off. Ah, true. Create a function that turns all the LEDs off and then add an off button to the app that makes it turn all of the turn off all of the colored LEDs. Oh, okay. So we need a function first. So if you don't have this purple gold, that's because I added it in the last part. So make sure you have your own here. Um, we're going to grab the function. And remember, function is about encapsulation, which sounds super fancy and scary. But uh, it's it's where you put chunks of code um, to tidy up your code. And it's useful because you can always run them in different parts of your program. So I'm going to call this off switch. That's the name of my function. And so that's what I'll say when I need to run it. Now, what do I want my off switch to do? Well, shockingly, I want it to turn off each of the LEDs. To do that, though, if you're turning off each of them, you're going to have to ask it to turn off each of them. So, color LED. Now, remember, zero is the first LED because the array of LEDs, this color LEDs, is a list of LEDs. And if we say color LED zero, computers arrays start at zero. So that just means the first item in the list, zero does. So since there's 10 items on the list, it goes from zero to nine because that's actually 10 items. So we want zero off. We want, whoops, none of them. Uh, we want one off. We want to turn off the second one as well. And the second one would really be the third one because we're starting out zero. I know that sounds so weird. I don't want to toggle any of them. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we have off switch now. Now we need the switch. So design and I'm going to drag out a button. Uh, the ID is how you refer to it in the code. I titled mine off BTN. Off. Um, and then, I don't know, 20? Something visible. And then, ooh, the color. Um, what happens if I just, I don't know. Uh, make this a 2. Not much yet. Oh, do I have to click off it? Nope, I'm just not doing much. Okay, I'll just pick one. What about that? Whoa. Definitely not that. All right. Uh, sure, that one. All right, so now I have my button, and I'm going to go back to the code. Now I'm going to go way back up here on event. We want one of those. So on the event that my off button, and I gave it the ID off BTN, is clicked, what do I want to have happen? Well, I want it to look for this code off switch and just run that function. So to run a function, we call it, or we write its name. Off switch is the name of mine. And that's why, oops. And that's why when I hit purple, but when I on the event of clicking the purple button, purple gold function runs. And that's all this. And it turns on all the lights. Once you hit the bottom of a function, if you have anything below it, the code just keeps running here. It would go back up here and run stuff below it. But that won't matter for this time. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's test out. Green. Purple. And good night. <laughs> but uh but uh but uh but uh it's kind of tedious to have to write all these out. I hope we learn of a loop uh, of how to use a loop to do this more rapidly, but we'll see. Maybe that's the next lesson. Anyways, let's uh keep going.